Latest research has shown that laughing for two minutes is as healthy as a ten minute jog. Which is why I love to sit at the park and laugh at the joggers. <laughs> but seriously folks welcome to the last day's news channel. The Euphrates River is a significant landmark in scripture and a valuable water resource in the Middle East. However in the past 20 years, this 1700 mile juggernaut has dried up substantially. There is not a single archaeologist, scientist or news outlet to refute this fact. Furthermore, on the top is a satellite photo in 2006. And on the bottom you can see that recently the water level of the Euphrates River has dropped dramatically. Here is a photo, the drying of the Euphrates has revealed several ancient ruins, caves and also underground tunnels. The drying of the Euphrates is a fulfillment of biblical end time prophecies. Scientists agree that one major reason for the drying up of Euphrates is low rainfall leading to the worst drought in recorded history. Revelation 16:12 states the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. Many scholars believe this 200 million man army will be from China. Can you say made in China? <laughs> Moving on this prophecy not only identifies the judgment, but also gives the reason for it. So a great army from the east can cross the Euphrates unimpeded. Next the kings of the earth gather, to the place in Hebrew that is called Armageddon. At this juncture Jesus returns and the battle of Armageddon will result in God's enemies being annihilated. A key event leading up to Armageddon is the drying up of the Euphrates. Are ah, we witnessing the setup for the fulfillment of a major end times prophecy? Salvation is offered to all people. We have been given free will to decide for or against Christ. If you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. No one's sin is greater than God's grace. The desire of Jesus is for everyone to be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.